Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. As you can tell here, I'm hanging out in what I like to call, it's like the gauntlet area or something. It's like the, uh, like the UFC cage, but of, of the bison worlds. This place is where it gets a little wild. It gets a little crazy. It's sometimes a little unpredictable. This is the working area. This is where the people stand typically. Now there's been a couple of bison in here, but don't let me fool you. Dunbar has been in here and maybe one or two others have been in here. You know, stuff happens and sometimes they get in the working areas where the people are. That's the process of trial and error when you start working bison in your first couple of years of raising bison. Yes, uh, but this is where a lot of crazy action happens. You can go back and watch my videos of us working the bison and see my wife getting panicked over uh, the bison. She's trying to get the bison back in one of our kit, my little, little crazy feisty one, trying to get the, her back in. We've worked Big Joe and finally got him to go through here, a part of their tub. It, Dunbar's got out, he's broke a head gate. I mean, everything always goes perfect here. As you can tell on the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch, working bison. We work them twice a year, but something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Let's just get to the chase here. Right here, I'm going to spray paint this right here. I, I, I care about our equipment. I try to take care of as much as I can. And with bison, it's gotta be heavy duty. It's gotta be tough, secure stuff. But I just wanna clean it up. I wanna protect this metal. So I'm gonna put some Rust-Oleum primer on it. We're gonna use that. I've got a sprayer right here that I use at the cabins quite a bit to spray this. And so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this down and get this baby ready for the fall and just get it looking better to take care of this metal. I'm gonna start down here in the corner, kinda just a just an easy place to start instead of starting in the middle and see how this goes. I've got it primed up and ready, so uh, wish me luck and see how the application goes on. Kind of surprised it's going on pretty good. Handy little dude, better than out of a can. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this inside too. So far the outside's going pretty well. 
Guys, I'm not a professional. I know you're probably going, Dusty, do this, do that, do that. You're doing this wrong. Hey, at least I'm getting something on there. This rust oleum to protect what's already here. So, especially this stuff, because it's a little bit thinner than that pipe. This is 14 or 16 gauge uh, sheets of metal. So it's gonna keep lathering on. don't recognize this area this is the area where big joe kept getting stuck we had to put that panel that i just removed up here still got to put a sheet of metal here i know this stuff is wearing out. i was just trying to black it out i'm going to rip all this off put another sheet of metal there we put that panel here and finally got him to go straight down the alley here and into or down the lane tub whatever you want to call it and into this area once we got him here he went straight through and through these sliding gates, shut the gates, and it all worked pretty well once he got through here. and painted these sheet metal gates that we have here this is a 10 foot one um i may not have to paint this one you guys may recognize this one i don't think i'll be painting this one i don't know how much use we're gonna get out of this one this is uh this is the one big joe uh tore apart in a whole couple minutes or so know if I'm get the right angle for you but that sucker is bent I think it looks pretty good once it dries it has that nice clean finish to it next I'm going right down the lane here getting this covered What's really great about this whole handling system is this barn right here. We built this barn, Austin and I, part of Get Her Done Construction with the help of Kevin too. We, uh, we built this barn last summer. I think it was June or July, it was hot as heck. But we got this barn built and it's made a huge difference. Uh, we've been able to store the welder in here, minerals, all kinds of stuff in here. Plus we've got lights, so that helps if we need to do some work out here or what, or we've got bison issues at night. So, but the great thing about this handling system is it's under this and your equipment will last a lot longer. This looks good right now. So we'll see how the inside goes um, and then I'll be done.
Man, that is a chore. The worst part about painting is the cleanup afterwards. You gotta drain the lines and do all that stuff, clean everything. That's the biggest pain in the butt. Woo, take a look here. This is awesome. It looks really good. I don't know how well you guys can see it from this point, but I think it looks really good. And I was getting a little worried about it. I was like, man, I'm not a very good painter. It's leaving some streaks and that may have been my nozzle, but it just finished out really good. Kind of has that matte look to it. Now, this is just the primer. What I can do now that I have the primer on is I can come back and I can put whatever color I want on it specifically. Besides it looking good, we got rust aluminum on it, we got some protection on it. Got some gates painted as well, and which is important because I, I like to hang sheet metal on a lot of these gates. So sliding gates covered, we're good to go. I, I slid them just to make sure there was no paint sticking to it or anything, but that little sprayer is pretty handy. It's nothing fancy, it's just from Harbor Freight, but it did what I needed it to do. All right, well, there you go, guys. Next time you see this place, we will be working bison. It'll be in the fall, usually around October, November is when we work our bison. So um, stay tuned for that. It'll be a while, be a couple months, but uh, obviously when it's cooler, this is where we'll work them is right here. And you'll see a little bit of a different look when the bison come through here. That may be impressed, I don't know. They probably don't care. But anyways, I was able to spray. This is the crash gate. This is where I had a couple of problems with it, but nothing too bad. Got a foremost head gate here. You gotta have crash gates for bison because they like to just run through it and this will slow them down so that we can actually catch them with the head gate right here. Guys, if you want to, you can go back and see how we work the bison. Every year, I feel like it gets better and better and that's just part of learning. And hopefully this year goes well again. So thank you guys for watching us. If you haven't subscribed to us, guys, follow us along. Raising these American bison putting the work in for these guys. Thank you.